Hi everyone, thanks for coming by today. I really appreciate it. I have news today and let's start with my Symbidium. They are not good news this year. Unfortunately, they are not doing that well. To tell you the truth, I was not expecting much this year in terms of blooming. For starters, they were reported and divided last May and uh, that usually sets them back. But then, our summer was terrible, especially July and August were much cooler than uh, they should be and uh, they were also humid and cloudier, so the uh, Cymbidium did not get as much sun uh, as they are used to. That uh, did not help blooming either. But um, then the month of September was uh, a lot warmer and was also a lot sunnier. And uh, all of a sudden these uh, three beautiful spikes popped up. But uh, they were not meant to be because uh, by mid-September we had a two-day storm with extremely strong blows of wind and there was a drastic drop in temperature which suddenly increased back up when the wind stopped. For my disgust, <laughs> these buds promptly yellowed and dropped. That storm must have affected the forming of the blooms on this orchid here too. She has six spikes, but they are they have half the number of buds they had last year. Anyway, better some than none. And I am quite happy to have these ones. This is my favorite Cymbidium of all, especially because uh, she has a lovely fragrance. In spite of everything, I was expecting something more of these two large plants on this side of the porch, but uh, they got scale. This one is not so bad, but um, this one on the, this side, further back, it uh, has not only scale, but also has spider mites. We can see here the very visible markings made by the scale. They thrive uh, either on the upper surface of the leaves or under side of them as well. These markings um, are permanent. I have a photo here of some of the underside of, the, of a leaf of this plant. We can see the, um, the scale and um, we can see some little specks which might be the uh, spider mites. Also we can see this silvery look under this leaf which I believe is um, spider mite damaged. I don't think I ever had spider mites before. But I think this is it, this silvery look on the, under, on the underside of the leaves, meaning the plant's protective waterproof casing that avoids dehydration is now punctured with thousands of tiny holes. Spider mites feed by piercing the leaf surface and extracting leaf cells and fluid. I didn't see any webs here. Anyway. They all have had the first treatment and uh, I will make sure to keep a closer eye on them from now on. So hopefully this uh, Symbidium will do much better next year. 